My name is Gregory Brown, and after reading the book by David Alston, I decided to share how to write and publish your first book. Alston's powerful story about a young man's journey of self-discovery resonated deeply with me. It ignited a spark, a desire to share my own stories with the world. That spark, that inspiration is where every writer's journey begins. Inspiration can come from anywhere, a captivating book, a life-changing experience, a desire to explore a fascinating topic. It's the fuel that drives your creativity and pushes you to put pen to paper. Finding your inspiration is key because it provides the motivation needed for the long journey of writing a book. Remember, inspiration is not a one-time event, it is a continuous process. Keep a notebook handy to jot down ideas, thoughts and snippets of conversation. These little sparks can ignite bigger ideas later. Once you have that burning inspiration, it's time to build the foundation of your book. This is where brainstorming and outlining come in. Don't censor yourself at this stage. Let ideas flow freely. Write down everything that comes to mind, no matter how wild or insignificant it seems. Next, organize those ideas into a coherent structure. An outline is like a roadmap for your book. It helps you stay on track and ensures that your story has a beginning, middle and end. Experiment with different outlining methods to find what works best for you. Remember, flexibility is key during the outlining phase. Your story may evolve as you write, and that's perfectly okay. The outline is there to guide you, not restrict you. With a solid outline in hand, it's time to start writing. The writing process is often romanticised, but it requires discipline and dedication. Establish a writing routine that works for you, whether it's early mornings, late nights, or stolen moments throughout the day. Set realistic goals. Don't try to write a whole chapter in one sitting. Focus on writing a little bit every day, even if it's just a few hundred words. Consistency is more important than quantity. Remember to celebrate your milestones. Finishing a chapter, reaching a word count goal, or simply showing up to write is a victory. Acknowledge your progress and reward yourself for your hard work. Refining your work revision and editing. Once you've finished writing your first draft, it's time to put on your editor's hat. Revision is about looking at the big picture plot, character development, pacing, and overall structure. Take some time away from your manuscript before revising. This will give you fresh eyes and allow you to see your work more objectively. Editing focuses on the finer details, grammar, punctuation, spelling and sentence structure. Consider having a trusted friend or professional editor review your manuscript for feedback. Don't be afraid to make significant changes during the revision process. Remember, revision and editing are crucial steps in the writing process. They help you polish your work and ensure that it is the best it can be. Sharing your story, self-publishing versus traditional publishing. Congratulations, you've written a book. Now it's time to share your story with the world. You have two main options, self-publishing and traditional publishing. Self-publishing gives you complete control over the entire process. Editing, cover design, pricing and distribution. Traditional publishing involves finding an agent and publisher who will handle these aspects for you. If you choose traditional publishing, research literary agents who specialise in your genre. Write a compelling query letter that showcases your book's unique selling points. Be patient, as the traditional publishing process can be lengthy. Remember, there is no right or wrong path. The best choice depends on your individual goals and preferences. The most important thing is to get your story out there. Don't be afraid to share your voice with the world. Pause 3S. Marketing. Your book reaching your audience. Congratulations, you've chosen your publishing route and your book is ready to meet the world. Now it's time to focus on marketing. Effective marketing is crucial to ensure your book reaches its intended audience. Start by building an author platform. Utilize social media, create a website and engage with potential readers through blogs and newsletters. Consider organizing a book launch event, whether it's virtual or in person, to generate buzz. Collaborate with other authors and influencers in your genre to expand your reach. Don't forget the power of reviews. 
Encourage your readers to leave honest reviews on platforms like Goodreads and Amazon. Remember, marketing is an ongoing process. Stay consistent, be creative, and most importantly, believe in your story. Thanks, Greg, for those kind words and that wonderful information. I'm David Alston. Remember that your dedication will help your book find its rightful place in the hearts of readers. So get started and get that book out to the world. Let me know if you have any questions.